God. Yes. Get the hell out of here. I nearly forgot to record that. Oh my God. I'm just 28. <laughs> it's not possible. Nope. No, 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 no. Exit, exit. Fuck's sake. It's a safe death. Don't worry, guys. Fuck. Okay. Got a jealousy pyramid. <sighs> There's the room plate legs here. Oh. oh. Yeah, Link started here. I mean, he was supposed to start here. He's supposed to start in that corner. He got roasted for it. I got my recoil shot so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> fuck's sake. I will... Hey guys, and welcome to episode 11 of the PvP challenges. As you guys remember from episode 10, I was able to get 25 XP in Slayer, and I didn't want to mess around. I was thinking about putting some in defense, but I ultimately decided, screw it. Um, any combat XP reward could always be put into defense. The same could be said about range too, but I need to get Link off magic. I need to. I need to make him think he wasted all that XP and magic and that it's not going to help him in any of these fights. And it got us to 61, which is the same level needed for a room crossbow. I know what a lot of people are thinking right now. Rarg, you have that giant landmass. You can go for the rune crossbow this episode. Technically, I can. Although I won't be because the odds will be incredibly stacked against me if I go for it. Let's say I decided to spend all my chunks to unlock up here and maybe even up to the altar as well. The first problem I see is that I don't have the 40 prayer, which isn't too big of a deal. I focus on getting that first. But in this episode, it'd be kind of a wasted unlock. I'd have to make money. I have no solid way of making money yet, which really does suck. I have to buy the runes. Um, I need to spend lots of time, you know, walking up and down from the altar, provided I do have the 40 uh, prayer. And even if I get the crossbow, I'd have to then spend a lot of time going for bolts. Bolts, which I can't, but which I don't really have a solid way of getting bolts. My only way right now is actually killing Chaos Steward for Myth. Um, of course, eventually I'd probably pair it with the Lava Dragons, which drop Runite bolts, which is a deadly combination. So even though I can, in fact, get and wear a rune cross for this episode let's be honest guys it probably wouldn't have happened hello bees and g's welcome back to another chunk progression pvp thing if you have missed any of the previous episodes i will leave a playlist up in the top right corner and in the description as well so give them a click and that will get you through every episode because they are alternating between mine and rag's channel so you might have missed one but in the last episode i got myself this chunk here, which is in between Polly and the Agility Pyramid. Um, and as you can see, these are the squares I'm going to be opening up. Obviously going to be opening up the Agility Pyramid. This gives us 10k every time we go up this and uh, and give it in to our boy there. I can't remember who it is. Um, and luckily, we got 45 um, Agility just passively on the accounts. Me and Rag have been doing that. Um, so that agility is going to finally come in use for me. Um, and then obviously I'm picking up Nada here. We get a bank. We get a cooking range right next to the bank. It's actually one of the closest cooking ranges to a bank in the whole game uh, in terms of like low requirements. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we've got the carpet to Polly. Just moved slightly to the right because the desert heat was uh, killing me. And that was one of the things I'm worried about. But it looks like we're going to be okay. Um, so yeah, I'm unlocking Nada for the bank. And obviously the plate leg shop. And just before we start the timer, I'll show you quickly why we're unlocking this. <laughs> the rune chain body and rune plate legs stocked in there. We're going to need over 100k to buy them both. But uh, yeah, that is the reason why this is such a massive chunk. But I was worried that we weren't going to be able to have desert heat or desert protection from the desert heat um, while we were doing the agility pyramid. Luckily, 
Remember a few episodes ago, I bought um, some desert boots? Yeah, so we've already got desert boots. They actually do sell desert boots in Poly, so it's not massive. They also sell a desert top, I think, um, and they sell water skins here in Poly as well. So we're all sorted for protection from desert heat and we'll be able to get ourselves some money together. Then I'm gonna unlock this chunk and this chunk, not for any real reason, um, just more to get close to our chunks here. Just because uh, once I leave the desert, I won't actually be able to come back. So I've got to make all of my money now. And I've got to do all of this now. I've got to buy the rune stuff. I've got to, you know, do everything. Because once I leave, there is no teleport back here. Now, the rune crossbow was never really good for training anyway. I'm basing this off season two because it's the only thing I have to base it off of. Because, again, bolts were quite annoying. The weapon that was very reliable, um, not in a fight perspective, but from an overall training and killing things in the episode perspective, was the Dorgenshin crossbow. Now, that is something that I can now, for a fact, get in this very episode. We have this one, unlock here, two, Goblin Village, three, four, Falador, both are definitely needed, I looked into it, four, five, the Wizard's Tower, and six, all the way up here to get to Reldo. With those unlocks, which are all connected based on my giant landmass that I have been building, I'm glad the strat is kind of finally paying off. Um, so with that strat, I can now unlock all the quests needed to do Death to Dorgan Shun, which I know you only need the Lost Tribe for the Bone Crossbow, but the Death to Dorgan Shun, we also get Frog Leather, we also get a potential to go for a Power Amulet as well. And a great way to make money, which again links up perfectly, hopefully in a few episodes time, when we go for the room crossbow, but we will need to get an unlock, but our giant landmass extends all the way out here. So things are looking up. My back's still against the wall, but things are finally coming together. I am still a bit nervous that the Dorgation crossbow is now a little bit too weak for the fight, but it is a much, much, much needed step to take us that one step further for the ultimate goal of the room crossbow, which is great against melee and is great against magic. And he hopefully should really be struggling. I don't know where Link put his XP into, of course. But I, I, I saw that a lot of people in the comment section to say, go for magic, go for magic still. I'd, I'd be a bit weird to see him also throw away magic when it's been working so well for him. Um, but no matter which way he goes, I know range is the way to combat that. And that's why I put all my XP into range, because I know tank range is a very, very strong build, and a rune crossbow isn't exactly in the unforeseeable future. It's possible. Something like a dragon scimitar is, because you need the unlocks to back it up as well. We got 30k uh, Slayer XP to get, so that got us 40 Slayer, 66 magic I went for for Mystics, uh, so that we can now buy Mystics, because Mystics and Iban stuff surely will be deadly. Um, and then I put the rest into strength and attack just getting us 53 and 54. Okay, so first thing was to get the desert boots and some coins and we are going to go to Polly and luckily our squares are connected. See, this isn't actually like a teleport like we use. Like if this carpet had gone through the gray or the black, I wouldn't have been able to use it, but luckily it goes through the chunks I've opened. Well, I say luckily, I mean I did that on purpose so that we could use this. Um but it means we can just go from the river there and back for 200 coins, which is nice. So now if we go to the general store here, we should be able to uh, pick up some water skins and, of course, the uh, the desert top, I think it is. Let's have a look. How much now? Yeah, 32. So we'll just buy the whole shop out. They respawn really quickly, actually, but I am going to hop. That should do me for ages. It costs, like, no money to get back here. And obviously, we're going to be making 10k every pyramid top. I will show you guys what is going on, just in case... You, uh, you've never done the Jersey Pyramid before, but um, it's going to be a really good moneymaker. So we have Simon Templeton here. He'll give us 10k GP every time we get to the top of the pyramid and uh, get a pyramid top for him. We trade him in with him and he just gives us the money straight like that. I'm going to be training my agility while doing this. We've already got 45. It's recommended to have over 30. Uh, most people usually come here when they have about 50. So I'm a little bit lower than like what a lot of people come here for and that is one of the reasons why I might need to bring food, but I'm going to give it a go and see if we can just replenish. I'll uh, put rapid healing on as well for a bit because um, we're not going to need the prayer anyway. So yeah, this is the plan. 
We'll see what happens. I'm sorry, guys. That was like a four minute rant, but I it, it had to be said. I'm very excited for this episode. We have a lot of quests that we have to do. I'll explain it as I go. So let's start that timer. First up, Doric's quest. Oh, we can teleport to Falador now. Yes, look at that, guys. Uncharted territory. Um, actually, I can't even get to um, the underground area of the Dwarven Mine from this from that entrance. I just unlocked the Dwarven Mine, technically speaking, because um, I can get there through Falador now, which is the only place I can mine clay. Also, I have no idea what dropped it, but I had to iron ore in the bank. I need 17 mining to do the Lost Tribes quest, which is why I'm doing Dorix, and then I'll have to top off the mining. Quest complete, 11 mining. Um, so I'm probably just going to go right back to the Dwarven Mine and top off on 17. I, of course, want to do that first so I can get the higher mining level, uh, so I can mine things a bit quicker. But after 17... Uh, we'll probably tell you right home and start Rune Mysteries, because we now have all the unlocks for that, of course. Uh, we need the Wizard's Tower and Varrock, which we've had for a while now. So, yeah, and then it's one step closer to getting that Dorg Bow. So, 17 mining has been achieved, but before I tell you, I decided to uh, try to get those Woad Leaves real quick. I need two of them, right? Uh, yes, two Woad Leaves. I'll just pay the max amount. Do not care. 20 GP. Two? Oh, awesome. Okay. Um... I was actually a bit nervous that there was no place to get onions. The food chopping port, Serum doesn't have any. Um, I can't go here because that's blocked off in Lumbridge. Um, I actually don't have that square unlocked, I don't think. But anyways, uh, yeah, look, it's just blocked off the onions. It says there's a spawn in the Lumbridge upstairs. Now we need two of these. This is going to be the play of the century. <laughs> there's an onion just chilling on the table. Oh, uh, we do have to hop. Okay, easy enough. So we won't get the we won't get the red berries now because they're by Varrock. But actually, we do have to go there for the quest um, Rune Mysteries, which we're going to do right now. Just got all the dyes. Uh, going to wrap up Rune Mysteries right now. I think this is like the last step or the second to last step. And then fire right on up. Uh, probably Telly Falador and go up and do Goblin Diplomacy really quick. So I believe this is all the requirements, uh, the item requirements that is. I think you can get the um, the Goblin Mail during the quest. So uh, truthfully going a bit faster than I thought. I thought 17 mining would take more time as well, but um, we're zooming on through. 21 HP. <laughs> I definitely need to bring food. So we'll go to Nada. I'll grab some food. And we'll, uh, come on, nice. We'll grab some food, and I'll probably do like, I don't know, five or six pieces of food. There we go, 600 XP at the end. We are going to get these levels quickly, though, like 20k an hour. And that's with a lot of fails there. So we are going to get these levels up, and hopefully once we get to, like, 50. And boom, 10k, and we can just do this as many times as we want. Uh, I'm actually going to trade this in, because they do weigh a lot. 11 kg, that's insane. Like, a cake is 0 0.3. That is insane. Just got ourselves a lovely dunce. I think I am just going to put... Actually, no, we're putting it into Herb Lore all day long. All day long. There we go. Nice. So we're currently at 70k. We've been going for, I don't know, 35 minutes or so. I don't know how long it was uh, since I started because we had to buy everything and we had to we had to get the, uh, the water and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's going okay. We're uh, fast approaching 47. We're going to be actually really close after finishing this one. Yeah, super close. 589 so under a lap and we'll have it um, and yeah up to 80k when we sell this one so uh, very happy with the progress so far so this is the first hour gone uh, 110k feeling pretty good I could actually buy the rune chain and the rune plate body right now if I wanted to um, I'm not gonna do that well I am gonna buy them but I'm not gonna buy them now just because if, as soon as I leave here that's it. I cannot come back. As I said at the start of the episode, I can't come back here. There's no teleport here. Nice. Love failing. Love failing. Um, but yeah, there's no teleport back here that I can get here at the moment that I have access to. So this is out of bounds once this is done. It could be out of bounds for the next three, four, five, six episodes. I don't know. So I want to get a decent cash stack together. We are well ahead of schedule, B's and G's. 200k. And what are we? Two hours and 17 minutes left. Would have been a lot quicker, actually. I just failed a load of times on that last top. Loads of times. It could have been like pff, 2.20 or 2 hours 20 left, honestly. That was insane. But I'm 
nevertheless, 17 minutes ahead of schedule. Really, really happy. I didn't think I'd even hit the 200k in the two hours, so pfft, over the moon. Um, I'm not close enough to getting 50 agility, so I'm not going to bother. This quest should be called the dumbest goblins in OSRS. I don't even know what option to pick. The um, It's failing me here. Here we go. Um, yeah, they go from orange to blue. Now they're going to want brown again. Oh, man. They're nuts. Yeah, they like it. Of course you do. Really freaking quick. Okay, actually, I don't even know what I need for the Lost Tribe. I thought this was going to take a little bit slower and have more time to think about this. I need a light source and a pickaxe. Light source we can get incredibly, incredibly fast at lumber. Oh, do I not have that unlocked? Hold on. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. I don't have the swamps unlocked. I know I could get in the swamp through... Um, you know, this crevice down here. I think we might have to go there for the quest. I'm not sure, but... Oh, okay. I gotta think about how many to light source, and then we'll move on to this quest. Sweet. Maybe there's a faster place to get it, but it's the only place I thought of off the top of my head um, with a quick Google search, that is. So, cool. We have this. Now we can go to Lumbridge, start the quest, and look at this, guys. We can now get the Dorgenshin Crossbow. Really quick quest. Guys, that quest helper on Roulette, I'm telling you, holy crap. Um, it is. It makes questing so fast because you don't have to look at any of the screen. It's all right in front of you. But anyways, I'm going to buy a bone crossbow. I'm probably just like a thousand bone bolts. I mean, this is all the cash I have. I have a lot of valuables in the bank, but uh, I do want to fire right into the next quest. But I know there's a boss battle. You have to defeat Sigmund, uh, that fucker. Um, I believe in this quest and I do want to do it right now since I'm kind of in like the quest mode and I'm zooming through them uh, Plus quest points are very appreciated because of the whole um, What's oh, I can't buy a thousand shit. That's fine. Like I said, I have alcables, but we are approaching 32 We're not gonna go for 32 this episode by any means, but anyways death to Dorgan Sean But anyways guys, I'm so hyped. These are very strong bolts. It's a tick slower than a short bow but much more accurate than a maple short bow and could hit way higher. So looks like we just need the two full hand robe sets. Okay, unfortunately, that is going to take a while. I don't know why I just tell you. I could have just followed right back. Um, so I'm going to grab some food and we're going to start thieving right now and do the quest. Hopefully this is goodbye to the agility pyramid because I don't want to have to like unlock chunks just to make money. You know, that would be that would be very annoying. So, yeah, I, hopefully that's the last we have to use of it. But as you can see, pff, serious moneymaker, serious moneymaker. But it has used nearly two hours of our time. So we do need to get on and do a few things because I've got quite a few upgrades actually this episode um and a little a little twist a little twist i'll tell you that okay obviously the first purchases are going to be some rune plate legs and a rune chain body <laughs> that shop was overstocked for whatever reason so i should have 3k less than i do here so i am going to switch that out don't worry we're taking 3k out, we're turning it into plat tokens because I shouldn't have got it that cheap. I looked at my cash stack and I was like, what? What the fuck? Oh yes, that looks amazing. Okay, we can telly out of here now. Okay, so I've been missing a couple of slots throughout the whole of the episodes, to be honest, and that is the boots and the glove slot. We're going to sort both of those now really, really quickly. Egg, milk... And obviously flour, it's obviously cook's assistant. I'm gonna quickly go and do. The reason for that is as soon as we do that and then talk to the chef again after that, we can actually get ourselves a uh, start to recipe for disaster where we get the hard leather gloves, which give a one bonus in every single attack and defense slot. And our boy Widen will sell us a pot of flour. Boom, there we go. There we go, there's the quest completed. And now if we talk to him again, do you have any other quests for me? There we go, and this should start it. Okay, so one of the items we need is a tomato, or rotten tomato, boom. We need an eye of newt as well, which I have in the bank. Okay, we need a greenman's ale as well. Does putting water, let's let's find out now. I was gonna say comment section, does putting water on a fire put it out, but we can, we can do this experiment while we wait, because we can't wait anyway. I sort of don't want the fire to go out now, because I want to know. Uh, jug of water. Quick, 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 quick. Yes or no? Comment down below. If you're right, like the video. 
Oh, fuck off. Fuming. <laughs> Fuming. Okay, we need an orange, a lemon, and a pineapple. We need a cocktail shaker. The opposite side if we buy one. Okay, so I think we put these in here. Try mixing the cocktail shaker rather than adding ingredients. Mix cocktail. Fruit blast. Create. Ooh, okay, all right. And then if we go the other side, we should be able to buy a cocktail glass. We pour it in there. I need a lemon. I need a lemon and a knife, I think, actually. Knife and a lemon. And I think we make that into slices. Yep. I think this, if anything, will be the longest portion of it, but it has to be done because we unlock a way to make money and we can get a power ammy and the frog leather. So it's all worth it. It's all worth it. So it turns out if you start the quest, it actually makes yourself get the the ham pieces a lot faster, which I just found out like after 15 minutes of pickpocketing, then the rest came so much quicker. So keep that in mind, guys, for Iron Man. I mean, probably most of you guys know that, but thankfully I got the quest guide up. And there's the quest, guys. Yes, access to Dorgish Khan 2K Thieving 2K range experience. So we're going to head right to the city and purchase the frog leather. Um, and then after that, I'm not really sure if I want to um, make some money or train some range or what. But what I totally forgot about is we actually had access um, to the special attack. And I don't have any other special attack. And it's funny, Link use is wrong. Um, in Season 2, it was incredibly hysterical. I'm not sure how to use it the right way. Dylan's attack with a greatly increased accuracy on unsuspecting targets. And that lowers your target's defense level. So I'll try to look into that. Um, because if I could lower Link's defense, that would be wicked for the fight. Let me grab my coins and buy that frog leather. I fucked up the recording, so I'm going to show you guys real quick. We just got frog leather. You could see how cheap it is in the bottom there. Um, plus... What is that? Plus uh, seven more magic defense, plus two extra range attack, and the boots, no magic defense, but plus two range as well. Now, I have three goals this episode. The first being a power ammy. The second being get an okay amount of money to prepare myself in case a nice decent chunk comes along where I can unlock the rune crossbow. Again, we're going to need a lot of runes for that. And the third being get 37 prayer, which we aren't too close but we're also not crazy far off and that is paired with some extra range xp as well now to get the power ammy we need to pickpocket these guards and we get these keys and we use these keys to open up these chests we get a bunch of jewelry in that jewelry i think the better key i think steel key might be the best or silver even it's silver there's like bronze iron silver um it's something like that but anyways i use those keys open up the chests get jewelry and all the extra jewelry which is pretty much anything that isn't a sapphire ring or a you know a diamond amulet is going to be sold to the shop in port serum which i already have unlocked which is amazing um now to enchant it i found a small little problem i do need 57 but i did unlock falador as well this episode um and we can buy wizard mind bomb so i'll have to look into that i'll probably do it as i'm pickpocketing to waste no time and um yeah, and then from there, after that's all taken care of, we just train some range and get a prior up to 37. So that's going to be the rest of the two hours, 11 minutes. I really hope we can do it. Okay, so we pour that into that fruit blast, but then we use the ashes on there to make a dirty blast, and we have everything we need um, for the thingy, for the, for the Lumbridge guy. But I can't get home yet. Is there any other way I could get home? Yeah, I'm stuck in here until, like... One hour, 46 or something, 44, something around there. So I'm just going to train. I'm just going to train for those few minutes on the guards. I got enough health to be okay. There we go. One quest point and an invitation to the dining thing. And this is a long cutscene. Like, I think it's like two minutes long. So we're about to waste two minutes watching this. All right, Kins, how we doing, mate? Wow, that was like nearly four minutes. What the fuck? Okay, I'm going to inspect everyone just so I've already done it in case I do want to do any of these in the future. Because you know what I'm about, guys. I'm about doing stuff before, you know, getting prepared for later episodes. So we're just doing that quickly. Um, and then when we jump out of here, we should have access to the chest underneath Lumbridge. Come on. And boom, there's the chest. So buy items from here. And we can get ourselves the hard leather gloves. Boom. Ones in everything. Nice. Very, very nice upgrade. Uh, so let's bank this. 
Uh, and I'm now going to buy food. I'm going to buy pats of butter and I am going to... I have, I think I have potatoes already, don't I? Yeah, 19 in there. So that will do for now. So I'm just going to hot world and we are going to get ourselves 28 pats of butter. Uh, just so I've got a bit of food because... Or 19. I'll go for 19 right now. Um, just because I've got a bit of food so that I can actually go ahead and uh, do what I want to do next. Because we are going to need a little bit of food. Okay, I actually need the minigame teleport again, <laughs> um, so that we can get to Burthorpe, and we got a three minute cooldown, so what I did was just got over to Moosa Point, and we're going to grab ourselves um, some crab ones just while I wait, because might as well do something, and we're going to have to do this at some point. I actually only need like 10, 20 crab ones, I think I had about 20 in the bank, so uh, yeah, this is just literally... A little bit over the top, but I might use some of these Karamba ones for my not next activity, but the activity after that, uh, because it will be combat, and that's the target world. Let's go. Let's just do this. It will be combat, and I think I am going to take a bit of damage, but hopefully I can neglect most of it. Okay, let's start Death Plateau, so we can get some climbing boots. There we go. Steel claws, and of course... Climbing boots can now be purchased. We also got some attack XP there. Um, let's go up and do so. Sorry, I've, I've just got something on my mind. I don't think I ever went upstairs and freed the archer. Do you just not have to talk to him? Do you just have to do the stone balls thing and, and that'll be fine? Because every quest I've ever done, it's made me go and talk to the archer upstairs when you free him. But using the quick guide or the, you know, the built in one that Runelight has, it didn't tell me to do that. And I guess we completed the quest, so there you go. Hopefully we get a bit lucky on the power Emmy. I'd rather have a little less money and the 37 prayer. But if it starts taking too long, I could always bail on it. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys after I have a buttload of money and a power amulet. Or at least a diamond amulet. So we did not get the diamond necklace, unfortunately. Um, we got a bunch of other diamond stuff, though, which sucks. It's 1 out of 75. We definitely opened more than 75. We'll have to go for it next episode. But we do have a lot of jewelry. I'm not going to deal with it now, but we can cash this in for lots of coins. Let's get a ranged gear up. I'm going to buy cram wands and then fire right to the baby red dragons and start training some range with our new crossbow i've got an idea guys i've got an idea we didn't get the power emmy but this does give extra magic defense yes gives plus seven magic defense i'll take it i need everything i can take for this fight um okay now we're going to get crampons check out my new bow guys hitting like an absolute truck and i hit a zero of course i swear that first kill i absolutely destroyed it hit right through it um we are 61 range we should be able to get that to 62 i thought about training some defense but um ultimately i want to kill these as fast as possible and get the prayer up ultimately need the prayer and i'm really hoping i can get 37 in an hour and 10 minutes i don't know if it's possible but we're gonna try to go for it so i will see you guys if we get any grubby keys or if anything exciting happens we are coming up on 37 prayer. Can I hit? There we go. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Here we go, guys. We don't have much time to spare at all. And there's actually one more thing I want to do after this. 37 protection from magic. Okay, hold on, guys. I thought of this as I... Wait, I'm going to go to birth warp. I thought of this as I was training here. Did a lot of research on things I could buy or get pretty easy with the regions I have. And uh, I found that mirror shields actually give plus five magic defensive bonus now i didn't think i was gonna have enough time to do this i'm pleasantly surprised that there's two minutes left it's actually plenty of time okay so i low out two battle staves mirror shield 5k can i buy some climbing boots okay it sounds good 12 gold am i losing my mind i swear there used to be two as 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 big old tenzing put the uh put the price up here so we're finally going to the forthos dungeon Kins was all like, my secret plan, my secret plan. You guys have been commenting that since, like, episode three. So I didn't mention it, Kins didn't mention it, but eventually he, he went and did it. So, yeah, we do have the plan to go here. I have a slightly different plan to Kins, you know? He 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 loves the fucking red dragons, doesn't he? doesn't matter if you're series 10, series 2, it doesn't matter. Kins is always at the red dragons. And to be fair, I'm always at the undead druids, because they are they're my favourite. They are my favourite. Um, can we open this? Oh god, have I fucked up? No, I haven't. Oh, thank god. I thought it was going to say that's locked or some shit. Okay, so let's turn this on before we get absolutely destroyed. Uh, we're going to slash this web. 
we're going to be a lot more brave in many ways. Um, and we're going to be taking on the Undead Druids. And thankfully, there is an altar right here that we can use just to get our prayer back consistently, constantly, which means I can chuck on both these two and we can just attack here. Now, the reason I've got food is they do melee as well. So they, they mainly use mage, but they will melee as well at times. Um, so that's why I've got a bit of food with me. But just infinite prayer. It's insane. And they drop a defense ammy, a strength ammy, magic ammies. They also drop a mad amount of runes. They drop a mad amount of... Um, Oh, money as well. They drop 1 to 5k at a time. So we can make some money here. We can get some herbs here, runes, all sorts. So they are really, really good. Okay, this is going to be the last one of the first inventory. Didn't actually get too many useful drops, to be honest. A lot of seeds. Let's teleport to the fishing trawler. I'm going to see if I can get recoils together. I know I have one in the bank, but I don't know if I have enough to... I don't think... I have no gold bars. Maybe I unlock gold bars somewhere have i i don't know but i think i'm out of gold bars so i think i've just got one recoil okay i got an amulet of defense <laughs> what am i currently wearing the gnome amulet uh the gnome amulet here will be better but i think this will be better for the fights because kinses jump into that range um every so often so i think it is probably worth bringing the amulet of defense but i do want to see the amulet of strength that's what we're here for that's what I want to see. So, uh, well, at least we got an upgrade. Sort of upgrade. Okay, I have nothing else planned this episode. And it's only a minute and 20 seconds. Um, take a look at this, guys. From 30 magic defense to 35. Now, we do take a hit on all the other combat styles. I know that. I know that. I know that. But I'm going to try to prioritize magic defense in this fight. Let's go gear up, let's get all of our stuff together, and I'll talk to you guys, you know, in full about my mindset and everything like that. I have one expectation, and that he's going magic. We did just get a bunch of XP that we could throw into combat, so if I see melee, I'm not that surprised, if I'm being completely honest. He probably knows I have Protect for Magic right now, so he's he's got that slight advantage of, of probably bringing melee in the fight now and negating this completely. Uh, which does suck, but you know, my back is still against the wall a little bit. I'm, I'm focused on the rune crossbow plan and I want to see how this Dorgenshin crossbow does, but, um, I'm not going to let it, I'm not going to let it affect me because our setup is the protect from link hybrid setup. We have 34 magic defense and we have that rune med helm. I think this is a nice balance between anything he throws at me without sacrificing a crazy amount of food. Because let's say he did just go magic, for example. I'd hate myself if I had a shit ton of switches in there. And I know I could have won. Well, maybe. I'm talking in hindsight now after it would have happened. I, I would have hated myself if I thought I could have won. And I didn't, is my point. But uh, the rune med also because he staff bashes a lot when he hybrids. So not only is that helping protect against his melee attacks, but also his mage melee attacks. Um, but yeah, guys. There's not much else I could base this off of. I think he might hybrid me, melee magic, and this is what I think the best way to negate that is. I can't I can't sacrifice many inventory spots to bring magic either right now. I mainly want to see how this bow does, how it contends against his setup, and we can base everything after this episode while still trying to go for that rune crossbow and keep pushing forward, guys. So I will see you in the fight. You beauty. You beauty. Three minutes to go, and we get it. We get the Amulet of Strength. Oh, yes. That's amazing. That is amazing. I I think it's better than bringing the defense, because that gives, like, two max hits, I think. Or three? Does it give two or three? Oh, man. That's good. That feels good. So we actually got a Magic Ami, a Defense Ami, and a Strength Ami. So I got one of each in 35 kills. That's not bad, is it? I'm feeling very confident. Um... Obviously, I'm going melee. I haven't really mentioned it in the episode, but I think he's so, so expecting me to stick down that mage route. And obviously, like, I got the 66, which he knew was coming, thought I was going to get mystics. He's going range all day long. And against this, no chance. No chance. My range defense is, is through the roof. I'll have a quick look quickly. It is through the roof. When we get this kill, I'll... Uh... There we go. Um, What is it? Let's have a look. 183 
just insane. You know, like that is that is something else. So, yeah, I th I think we're looking good. I think we're looking good. 183 range defense. He's going to come out with either that maple short bow, possibly a rune crossbow, but. He'd have to... Nah, he can't. He can't. Because he needs protection press to do crazy arcs. So that's not going to happen. Maybe a dog crossbow. Possibly. Um, I know he wasn't far off the chunks for that. So even if he comes out with a rune crossy... Uh, not a rune crossy. A dog crossbow. Ah, I think we're looking good. I do. I really do. Uh, hopefully we can get this kill. One minute. Yeah, we definitely will. One minute 23. Let's see what we get on the last kill. But to be honest, I got pretty much everything I want. We came here for the strength army. The rest was just like herbs and starves and stuff like that. It was just bonuses really. So really happy to get everything there. That's going to be the last kill. Can't see me getting another kill in this time. There's a Raynar. So a future prayer pot there. Who knows? Maybe that'd be used trying to get some tank legs from Barrows. Can't wait. I nearly forgot to show you guys what I was going for. But this is going to be the setup. Uh... Feeling pretty good. 183 range defense. Um, if he's going melee, 197 slash. Magic, I've got plus two. I don't know how. Plus two, probably from this. That's insane. That's actually insane that I have a plus two magic defense with this on. That, that's incredible. Um, crime once for the whole thing. I don't have a second recoil, remember, so I'm just bringing the one. So crime once, everything else, uh, attack and a strength pot, obviously, as well. And yeah, that is going to be the setup, guys. I, I, nothing more to say, really. You know, he's going range. I'm almost certain of it. If he goes, if he goes melee, I'm even happier. So yeah, I think I've got a really strong position. Getting Nada was just so so massive. That was that was just insane RNG. It really was. So uh, yeah, very happy. We're looking sick. Linky boy, my man. Yeah. How are we? Yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. Happy to be uh, here. I mean, I, <laughs> I I was expecting, not expecting, but hoping for, because uh, I, I know you just finished filming, Link, so I was hoping yeah. you're like stressed out about something, but it doesn't oh, seem no, like no, it. No, 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 I'm not stressed, mate. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty confident today. Ah, uh, man. Okay. I'm feeling, feeling pretty good. How are you feeling? Uh, For this fight, not the best, but I also wouldn't have changed my plan. If that makes sense, so that's the best way I can describe it without it's giving like things everything away. Everything went well, but you didn't have enough time to. No, work. as in, as in, I'm in a very pickle situation, so I have to try to think more long or short term right now, and I'm definitely right. thinking more long. So, bottom line, not that confident. <laughs> no, <laughs> they, <laughs> thanks for just putting it bluntly. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's know. sake. I need to know. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Okay. All right. right. Uh, Link, I, I accidentally just went over your, <laughs> your guys. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mess. Uh, I'm a mess. And I was caught red-handed because it's all on camera, too. It was an accident. Oh, wow. 61 <laughs> combat. Yeah. Uh, wow. I mean, we got all that XP. And I mean, I, I, I know we can look each other up, but I will in a sec. But... I'm a bit scared you put it all into melee. I was pretty sure you weren't going to do range. I mean, it doesn't look like you've done range with stats like that. Mm. Um, but uh, what if he's going melee now? Fuck I'll sake. look you up. Right, mm. I'm going to look you up. Uh, one range? Two range? Uh, I gained one range level. I think that might have been it. Oh, no, shit. some 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 thieving levels. Got some thieving levels in there. I think that might be it. So, oh wow, 66 magic too. Yeah. Oh fuck, that's like Wizard's Guild. That is Wizard's Guild. But that's your melee Wizard's stats are fucking hot, much higher, I think. Oh uh, no, I don't even know. Is he, he's hybriding me. He's going melee I magic. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say I, I called it. I don't think the melee has gone that high, to has be it? honest. Maybe I'm fucking I delusional, like, bro. I think I was like 51, 50... 51, 52, maybe 53 attack and... Like, the defense hasn't changed. The attack and strength, I did some... In, I can't even remember now, mate, but I don't think it's gone up as much as you think it has. So you didn't put any XP into melee? I did, but it's like... Most of it went into magic. You have 49 agility. Oh, no. What? What are you thinking? Well, Link... We had a little thing that we don't train agility unless you absolutely have to, which just makes me think 
you got agility pyramid Where, how else are you get why else would you get agility up there's no 49 about, uh, level requirement what about make it underground pass a little bit easier man? Oh, well, you're gonna spend two hours to, to save 10 minutes on that quest <laughs> uh you're right i did get agility oh. pyramid but <laughs> That means you have Mystic, doesn't it? Oh, let's find out. I mean, when, okay, I got the chunk above the Agility Pyramid. That's where I landed. Where did you land, mate? Where did you I, you, you know the square that, that you weren't supposed to start in, but you started and it got roasted for it? Oh, the one where it didn't change anything except 30 seconds of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that California. one. Right, yeah, yeah. That's that one, the yeah. one I actually had to start oh, in. Oh, like Warriors Guild. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, it's actually quite a nice chunk. That that connects up with a lot of your shit, doesn't it? Yes, I had the one next to it. Yeah, Druidic Ritual. Fuck. Yeah. Oh my god. So my landmass just grew a little bit. He's that, got a dog, bro. He's got a dog, bro. He needed mass, like two chunks. He needed two chunks. That landmass is fat. Yeah, I can hear it in his fucking voice. He's smiling away behind the <laughs> fucking mic. Let's, uh, let's do it, mate. Let's do it. Oh, he's gonna have Mystic. Fuck, man. Okay. All right. All right, you, you call the first one. You call the first one, and we'll start throwing these on. Uh, let's get glove skins. Okay. Um, I just have the leather still. Nothing too cool, crazy. Cool, cool. Oh, was that? Bit of recipe for disaster started, mate. Oh, shit. All right, cool. Yeah, I was cool. treating myself. Is that like the first one, or is that the... First one, yeah. Hard okay. Leathers. Right. Nice. So just ones and everything. Hey. I mean, it's probably better it's than nice what all around. Before. Yeah. Around. I'm gonna go ring because I'm curious if you got more recoils this time or not. Um, I have one recoil. I do have another in the bank, but I'm savoring, so I'm just bringing <laughs> okay. one and taking an extra food instead this episode. And then next episode, I'll use that, and hopefully, I'll have a gold bar by the next, you know, whatever. So. Okay, glad to see it's still hurting you a bit in terms of the gold bar deficiency. All right. Yeah, a little bit annoying. Um, let's get cake kins. Let's see if you uh, manage to. Switch that up, yeah. I got this to stir up some oh. uh, some talk before. <laughs> oh. But you kind of already okay, had your theories. Yeah, yeah. So, so he's done. He's done the. Yeah, he's done the. Yeah, he's done lost pride and death adoration. Is that the two you need? Uh, well, to get the bow, you just need lost tribe. But to do the special attack, you need Death Adoration, which we found out is fucking trash anyway. Dude, so, yes. I looked into that spec, um, and honestly, I still don't fucking get it. <laughs> so don't fucking... They changed the wording <laughs> since Season 2, I'm telling you, right oh, now. Oh, God. Um, but that means no hand chests, if you didn't do that. I didn't do what? You, did, you didn't... Did you do it? Oh, maybe you did do it. Do what? Death like, Adoration. I did, I did, I did. Okay, right, right. All right. right. Well, okay, um, this, this, like... You know I have it. Yeah, you don't normally yeah, do this, it's, it's but it was like, dumb obvious. I wasn't. Wait, I can't. As soon as you it. said I got fucking warriors guild, it's fucking obvious what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm dying to know what combat style you're going, and I think, yeah. I think body will let me know. So let's go body. Okay. <sighs> Rune chain body. Yeah, <sighs> the Narda shop, isn't it? Fuck. Fucking so op. So we got, we got rune legs. Is it rune legs there too, or my I... no? It's it's screen dehyde chaps that's there. Yeah. So, Fuck. Uh, is there a rune med? I, I mean, I've already got a rune med. Mate. Oh yeah, you do. Why am I even there? I've been wearing it for like I don't know six episodes, kids. But okay. Uh, I he could be going magic still, but all right, I'll just put on both. I'll put on the room med and um, got a little upgrade. Oh, is that frog? Yes, which is. I looked into this after death to the dog machine. You could get it because I was like, how am I going to go against the Zeretians? And that was actually something I looked into. You really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It gives like plus eight more mag. Well, it's better in everything, but the yeah, magic yeah, defense yeah. It was the one I was looking for. Plus eight. Or seven or eight at this point. I don't really remember exactly, but like noticeably better. So I was like, I can't not yeah. like the, this quest line helped me out in so many ways just to propel me so much further. So had to do it. Okay. Um, let's go shield, mate. Let's see if you got an upgrade on that on that bad boy. 
in a way. <laughs> I actually bought one myself as well a couple of episodes ago, but I went against it because of the magic defense on it. This one is worse melee wise, but it gives plus five magic defense. So. Yeah, yeah, and it was one I was feuding with myself for not working out earlier, but okay. Ed Zero, yeah, I know, I know, knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> this bad boy's not being put down for a long time, mate. The amount of time it took Alk me to it. fucking get. I'm gonna hack you and Alk it by mistake. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Looking, looking, we're both looking very different. I right know, now. I know. Oh, <laughs> I'm something. Even you're a rune tank at this point, <laughs> right? Uh, um, uh, legs. This hopefully will give it away. What you're going. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh. Yeah, I knew the moment. Well, first of all, I called it in my little speech prior. I was like, this fucker is... Wait, so it does sell rune legs. It does, yeah. It does. Okay. It sells rune yeah, that's leg fucking... I, I knew... Well, I didn't know it on that basis, but I was like, this fucker probably put all of his XP into melee, knowing that I'm going to get fucking this. I, yeah, I just had... <laughs> I had no fucking options this episode without deviating from the main goal. I fucking saw it coming. I called it. I know someone's gonna yeah, call me a dumbass and I fell for a trap or something, these motherfuckers in these comments. I, it wasn't really a trap, it was more you were back to the corner. I know. Like your obvious plays were get protect from mage because you're so close to it. And I was like, that's definitely happening. And then when the Nada shop opens up for me, I'm not passing up fucking yep. room. Yep. Uh, but um, um let's go boots, mate. Let's go another boots. little upgrade we got frog leather. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually got an upgrade as well. Some climbing. Oh boots, shit! Yeah. Okay. Cool. Which I did have access to for a few episodes, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it clicked the moment you fucking put them on. Like, right? The you already had yeah. that chunk ages ago. Yeah. Um. um all right. Necklace. Whew. Oh god, he's got an upgraded necklace too. Got a strength dummy. Strength dummy, mate. From and where? Of strength. Undead druids. My man's killing. Oh, oh yeah, I keep, I keep forgetting protection prayers are a thing in this game. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so I uh, I spent my last hour at undead druids and got a magic, a defense, and a strength ammy. So. Yeah, so I yeah, was going well. for a power ammy through the chests. Yeah. Fell yeah. a little okay. short. Defense. But defense I wasn't ammy. too upset because again I was stacking mage defense and with all yeah. this it's plus thirty four. So wow, that's a massive increase from what you were. Yep, 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 yep. Very happy I went down this route. Uh, still with the rune to me. But Fuck this is it. the issue with going melee is the next melee weapon upgrade is tough. I know, I know. Which tough. is which is why which is why I kind of am going for the crossbow is because yeah. I just think, as you said before, magic will eventually phase out. And, like, it'll have a use, but for as a main combat style, it'll begin to phase out. And melee is hard to get yeah. the next yeah. upgrade after that. So, which I'm is why I'm sticking to, to my guns. I'm just I'm I feel like at this point, I can't really commit to range. Um... So I'm just trying to stay with the meta here and, and just try and r ride it out until we get to the point where you get a rune crossy because that's happening now. Fucking brilliant. Well, I got to get the unlocks, man. So don't... Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it, like, to get the dorg, I had to get lucky at, after three episodes of it possibly almost happening. So we'll see, man. It could take three more episodes. But... All right, Link, there's not too much to say on my end here. You get the first hit. Yeah. Give me that two-second warning. And yeah, let me All know. Right. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I've got two pots to drink. So, I mean, there's your two seconds when you see the when you see the first pot, mate. The two seconds to start. And you ready? Yeah, let's do it, man. Right. Here we go. First pot, second pot, and two-second warning. Here All we right. go. You f fucking is your defense lower? Oh shit! Yeah, wow, it's thirty six. Thirty six. Wow. Wow. Okay. You know, Link, I just remembered that we didn't actually show our inventories to each other. Did, <laughs> did, 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 did you have defense pots? Oh yeah, here's the train. 
Uh, no, I didn't, mate. Oh, I didn't. All right. I mean, that prayer. Of course, he puts up the prayer. I instantly start doing this. Yeah. I choked over my own words. I do that a lot lately, man. I get like nervous and I just fucking start choking on my saliva. Misclicked. That's good. I like when you misclick. No. Dude, I'm hitting like a truck. You are. You are. It's insane. Need that protect from range to go away. I, uh, we, we forgot to talk about this because we forgot to show the inventory link, but I actually did bring a rune simi to, uh, try to negate that protect from range, but to be honest, guys, I, I feel like I'm hitting you okay right now that I don't want to, yeah, like, yeah. change momentum, you know? So, I'm just gonna stick with what I'm doing because I know someone's thinking of it right now. Like, why aren't I switching? Hit. Drops and then hit a nine. Love nice. to see it. Nice. <laughs> Come on, Runescape, I should not be losing this. Don't do this to me, Jagex. Bet you're glad no I where it should fucking win. Dude, to think that I'm I'm focused on magic defense right now. My armor could be better. I know. Oh. Man. Oh. 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 Yes. Yeah, you you just hit so much more powerful oh. like that. So, oh yes. Yeah. Shit, shit like that. Man's had a train of its own. Shit! If I had better melee defense on. Problem is, I couldn't take that risk, man. Yeah. I couldn't take it. And I mean, it would also negate your range attack as well. So you know, there is there is negatives yeah. to bring in. I bet you're <sighs> glad you didn't go magic, though. Holy crap! Oh, yeah, I would have been toast. I would have been toast. Big hits. Big hits. Wow. I have no idea what my max is either. I, I think I saw a 12 from you, which I'm really surprised by. 11. I think my spec was a 12. I don't even remember at this point. Yeah, it was. It was 100%. 12. You wanted confirmation, mate. There you go. <laughs> oh, come on. 15. Is that your yeah, max? Yeah. I haven't even been paying attention. I think I can hit a 16 with prayer on, potted up, all that shit, you know? Right, okay. Cool. Well, not cool. <sighs> Come on. Zero fast. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It's so quick, that weapon. I it's know. a joke. I think it's a tick slower than short bows. But it's it's as strong as rune arrows and about as accurate as like a U short bow. But you get a shield thing. with it. Yeah. And the bolts are just cheap. And even after I get a rune crossbow, it's just a super cheap training weapon. Oh, we gotta eat up. Big hit, big hit. Oh my god. Oh, come on, hit. Fucking machine. See guys, at least I know the rune scimitars at this point, until my melee gets a bit higher, it's kind of useless for me, oddly enough. Dude, even right now I'm feeling like it's pretty useless. Like I'm like all out melee here. And yeah, it's that's struggling true. To keep up. I mean it might get me the win, but it's nowhere near as convincing as it should be, you know? Yeah. Him. Haven't 
haven't hit in so long. The I'm out. out. I'm out. Fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Four food. And that was everything you have on range defense. And it wasn't even my best setup for melee, so I'm not too pissed. Fuck. God, that's way closer than it should be. That is insane. That's insane. I'm scared. I really am. I didn't think it would be... I, d I really didn't think it would stand up to what I'm in. Like 183 range defense, and it was hitting like I was wearing nothing. Yeah, I had like 87 slash defense. <laughs> what the fuck? For our fans, don't you worry. I know we're losing these, but... I don't know. I think I think we're on to something. Plus, yeah. it's only the final fights that count. I, I I I keep telling myself that to get me out of this funk of losing every fucking episode. <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Fuck. All right, guys. One to four hundred and seventy-two. We absolutely need a chunk where we can now fully unlock the rune crossbow. That is the next plan. Is the rune crossbow plan? But we need the correct unlocks. I don't know how many unlocks we need on our giant landmass in total, but I think it's like three or so, maybe a bit more if we want the altar above it as well. Um, I know it's a bit of a problem with, with the prayer issue. We do need forty, but having the chunks unlock means that we're fully actively trying to go for it, trying to get it um prayer will also get much easier if i you know get around that area anyways because that altar gives um <clears throat> well like seven times your bone and there's green dragons right below the crazy archaeologist so if we can have that full unlock there it'd be quite amazing so let's generate 258 <gasps> that is like okay 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 let's look let's look before i get too excited let's look before i get too excited let's switch this over Far too close, guys. Far too close. Um, just having a, like, behind the cameras chat. And uh, one thing I did talk about was he did lower my defense by 12 levels with his first hit. So I was sat there on 36 uh, defense at the start. I think I was still on, like, 43 by the end of the fight. So he did have that going his way. That's not always going to happen. So it was a little bit closer for that. And I did actually have five food, not four. Um, so, yeah. Um... A little bit worried because i'm pretty much maxed out here i would say for the next two episodes like there's not many upgrades that come in um whereas he can change a lot of that but anyway let's spin and uh let's see what we get 219 that feels familiar but they all feel familiar to me 258 <gasps> you're shitting me dude that is incredible that is incredible <laughs> guys Guys, 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 guys. We have like this one, I think. <gasps> okay, so yeah, there, I don't think we'll get up there. Maybe we can. I don't remember the exact chunks we have. Maybe we have that one. Maybe we, I, I, I don't know. We actually have that one unlocked, so we can get six. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm not gonna act too excited when I get in the call with Link. Actually, I'm just gonna say I'm neutral because if I act too timid, he might call me out. If I act too excited, he'll call me out. I'm just. But if I say I'm gonna say nothing, he'll also call me out. Dude, that that was an amazing unlock. I thought I rolled the exact same one I got last time for a second. Fuck, dude. This is great. This is great. This is great. The plan finally feels like it's coming together. We're playing the long game, and I feel like it's finally paying off. The RNG on this spin. Again, don't take this for any um, officialness, but. Let's let let's hop back in the car with Link. Right, two nineteen. Oh, it's fucking wildy. Of course it is. I said I don't want to go back there. Dark Warriors Fortress. Hmm. Luckily, I have the runes already, so it's just one across to connect, and it's also one down to connect with Berthorp. So we could go one two, and that would then connect Berthorp up to all of this hmm <laughs> i'm just imagining the the music underpaid puts on right now where it's like do 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 don't know why but yeah you're, you're listening to that right now i hope you enjoyed this little tune um to go back to the chunk i don't know um down here goblin diplomacy but these chunks aren't connected to my main chunks so 
Uh, we will see. We will see. But there we go. Hey, man. How do you oh, feel about that role? Another god tier no, role no, no. from Link's Eye Series. No, it's not god tier at all. It's, uh... He's playing me. Not too happy about it, to be honest, mate. That's good. That's good. Not That's too good. happy. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah, this, it's just it's just meh, you know. This it's could be that classic link trickery that I'm that I'm always used How to. How do you feel? It? Uh, I think I can make do with this. I think so exactly. I can make do. Are you playing? Are you playing with me, mate? You can't take one out of my book, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't just use my line against me. Uh, I think he's quite happy. Usually he's like, ah, oh, no, no. But, yeah, uh, yeah but yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Is there a smile on your face right now when I ask you whether you're super satisfied, dude? When you ask if I, there's I a smile on my face, there's going oh, to be yeah, a smile on my face. Happy. He's happy. Ridiculous, uh, man. Ridiculous. Okay. I can't believe this. Okay, He's super satisfied, Jesus. I didn't say it. it first. I didn't say that. <laughs> I, it, it actually they heard whatever i said maybe i'm happy maybe i'm not the, they know you don't know you're the only person who doesn't know right now link well no because i could watch this as it comes out and okay I'd watch okay it link just time. i'm trying so, to, i'm trying to be you know a good host right now and you're just fucking shooting me down all right guys like the video if you thought kids was a good host oh, for fuck's sake there's gonna be 70 fucking dislikes on the video now <laughs> Anyways, guys, oh, <laughs> shut up. We're not doing this. Anymore. Link has earned himself 125k in any combat experience, excluding prayer, and I have 100k. So metas could change. Who knows what's gonna happen? Um, and we'll see them in the next one on Thursday over on your channel, Link Soccer Arena. Take it easy. It's gonna end just like that, man. Just segue.